Hi, this is early April in the year 2020. It's the time of coronavirus. I'm in Singapore, and as you can see, sitting by the pool, the pool is closed because of the coronavirus. And out of boredom, I decided to make my very first video. Uh, as I'm sure many of you out there are trying to find things to do while you're stuck at home. So, for my first video, I decided to do something on the very interesting subject of uh, finding the number of border pieces on a jigsaw puzzle before you start building it. Based on the total number of pieces, because on jigsaw puzzles, they generally only give the total number of pieces. They never mention how many border pieces there that are there. And of course, it'd be nice to know the number of border pieces in advance so that you know if you've found them all as you're trying to put that border together. Now, I looked on the internet for this information and could not find it. So uh, this might be original research, let's call it, on how to find the number of border pieces in a puzzle based just on the total number of pieces. It's a bit mathy, a bit mathematical. Uh, I'll make a longer video later that uh, explains more of it, but this first video are for people who can handle simple math, things like prime factorization. Jigsaw puzzles don't have their board, number of border pieces written down on the box, uh, but they often have the number of total pieces written on the box. And so uh, I'm going to show you a somewhat mathematical way of figuring out how many border pieces there are. Uh, to begin with, uh, let's use the example of a 513 piece puzzle. That's actually a typical puzzle for a so-called 500 piece puzzle. Uh, 513 uh, seems like it might be a prime number, but it's not. It's uh, divisible by three and some other numbers as we'll see. So the first thing we're going to do is do the prime factorization of 513, which means we're going to find all the prime numbers uh, that, when multiplied together, uh, multiply up to 513. And the reason we're going to do that is because the puzzle can only, the rectangular shape of the puzzle can only take a uh, whole number form. It can't be three and a half pieces by 67 pieces or something like that. It has to be uh, 10 pieces by 50 would be 500, for instance, or one piece by 513, etc. So, but what we need to do is figure out what a uh, reasonable puzzle would be, a puzzle that is fairly rectangular in shape, uh, maybe even close to a square. So that will be the next part of the video. So we factor 513, and we can see that 5 plus 1 plus 3 equals 9. Uh, the fact that it equals 9 means that uh, 513, the original number, is divisible by 3 and also by 9. Uh, and in fact, uh, if we divide by 3, we get 3 times 171 equals 513. Uh, 1 plus 7 plus 1 is also 9. That means this number 171 is divisible by 9. So what we end up with is a, a 3 times 3 times 3 times, and if you just continue with this, uh, figuring out this division, you would get 19 here. So in other words, uh, 3 cubed, which is 27, if I divide 27 into 513, I'm going to get 19. Now, the easy way to do this is to just go to Google Chrome and type in factors of 513, and it will spit out the factors for you. Or you can do it by hand like I did. Anyway, once we know the factors, then we have to look at the different combinations of 3, 3, 3, and 19 that will give us a x by y shape. We call this x and we call this y, an x by y shape that's uh, re rectangular. And um, we can try different ones. For instance, a 3 by a 3 times 3 times 19 
you know, this is a big, huge number. This is not going to work. This is, um, in fact, a 3 by 171. Now, that would be a puzzle that looks like this wide and very, very long, right? This would be the three pieces here and 171. So that's obviously not going to work. So we play around some more and we try uh, 3 times 3 and a 3 by 19. But that's a 9 by something. Also, the 9 is too skinny. Puzzles are not long and skinny like that. They have to be more rectangular in shape like this. So we're going to try something else. We're going to do 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And that leaves us with just the 19. So how about a 19 by 27 puzzle? Uh, well, this is probably the correct one. Why? Because 27 over 19, this is roughly 30 over 20, which is roughly 1.5 or a 3 to 2, 3 to 2 ratio. And that's the uh, ratios for puzzles, aspect ratios, tend to be in the, uh, say, 1.3 to 1.6 range, okay? And so find numbers among these, fa among, uh, where are they? among these factors that you found earlier. Find uh, combinations that seem to come up with something that's, you know, has a nice pleasing rectangular shape. So in fact, this is the correct size. Now we go to finding the uh, borders, the uh, number of border pieces. So we've got here a this is a 19 by 27. And so on the short sides, the width side, we have, if we counted them, we'd have 19 pieces down here and we'd have 19 pieces down here. And on this side, we'd have 22 pieces here and 22 pieces here. Notice that when I counted those, I counted the corners twice. So I'm gonna need to subtract those four corners off uh, in order to get a right number. Now I have 22, uh, 27, excuse me, 27 plus 27, that's 2 times 27, plus 19 and 19, those are two 19s. And then as I said, I'm going to subtract off the 4, and that gives us B, the number of border pieces, okay? And in this case, it turns out that the number of border pieces, if you do this math, is 88 border pieces. That is four corner pieces and the rest with one straight edge. Uh, there are 84 of those. And so you can go through and uh, continue or finishing your border construction knowing that you found 88 border pieces and therefore you must have all of them and all you need to do is work on those to get them together. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do another one for people who aren't so mathy to help them uh, work through this subject. It'll be a little bit longer. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed it.